what I'm talking about. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Have a seat. Mwah. Happy birthday. Have a seat. Have a seat. Hello up there. Have mwah. We got a great show for you today. Hello. You look so beautiful too. Thank you. I love it. Well, we're going to have to get the show started, so you got to sit down. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. I'm, I'm going to run over here real quick because you just stood up way too long. I love you. Thank you for joining us today. All right, so we are family, and families always talk. So I'm going to tell you what I was doing backstage. True story. This is what I, that's why my phone in my hand. So I was backstage. You know, on the phone, you can pick someone's picture and they tell you how many photos of that person you have. So I went online, I put my son's photo in, and just this year alone, and what are we in? Just four months of the year? Uh, 4,621 pictures. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. That wasn't just from this year, but it's just been a few months. I was like, all I do is take pictures of my child sleeping with. And then I look closely at some of the recent pictures of Moses. So this is us. Let me see. This is us in Jamaica. But this is us when we were in Jamaica. But there he is on vacation doing preschool math. Then <laughs> I looked at another picture Christmas Day. There he was with Goodnight Moon and a Nintendo. So like every parent, I'm always looking for kid content. And today we're meeting people who are remixing the parenting playbook by embracing the no one size fits all approach to raising a kid, right? I certainly learn with my son, kids learn in different ways. And by the way, this show is not just for parents because we were all kids at one point. And you know that there were different teachers that touch you in a different way. I was laughing with someone the other day. We started singing the Conjunction Junction song, yeah. right? And so whether you're a kid like me who grew up on Sesame Street or any of the new series, Bowie, Paw Patrol, and superstar Lori Berkner, who actually performed on our show last season, we know that the content is all meant to engage the kids, right? So our first guests, they are remixing the game in 2024 after they brought the world one of the most popular and influential kids shows right now on the planet. It's called Gracie's Corner. Gracie's Corner. So... <laughs> The, the masterminds behind it, Javoris Hollingsworth and Arlene Gordon Hollingsworth and their daughter, Grayson, are here today in our studio. I love it because they've been nominated for an NAACP award, a Kids' Choice Award, and let me tell you, their music, it is like, it's bumping. You know, if you don't believe me, this is my son, Moses, after just hearing a few of the songs. Take a look. <laughs> and so, there he was. And I, I was like, wait a minute. And there he's, walk with me, walk with me. And of course, my kid is not the only fan since launching on YouTube just four years ago. Gracie's Corner has exploded. A full-blown phenomenon. Take a look. This is the Bonnet song. God is reading all day long. It's the animated series that turns songs as simple as the ABCs into catchy, irresistible viral hits. Rock with me, rock with me, ABC rock, it's the alphabet. Come on, come on and sing with me. Gracie and her crew of adorable friends have fans rocking with them by the millions, with nearly 3 million subscribers and more than 2 billion views. The hit show is the brainchild of Houston doctors Jay Hollingsworth and Arlene Gordon Hollingsworth. Their 11-year-old daughter, Grayson, has brought Gracie to life with her signature Afro pups and playful singing voice. I know my mom's. The channel is breathing new life into the kids' education world by infusing songs with reggae, Afro beats, hip hop, and even attracting big name collaborators like Snoop Dogg and the Queen of Bounce, Big Frida. Hey. 
While Gracie's Corner continues to climb to new heights, the Hollingsworth family vows to never lose sight of their mission, making sure every kid feels seen and feels the beat. Thank you for occupying so much of my son's life and time. <laughs> you look so beautiful. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Oh. <laughs> that sweet voice. Your mom and dad told us you love singing everywhere. The kitchen, the shower, you're always singing. How happy do you feel when you see the kids sing your songs? I mean, I kind of feel I kind of feel great that they're also being inspired by my songs to be able to continue inspiring others on the way. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, Javoris and Arlene, it blows me away. Arlene, you're a chemist? Psychologist. Psychologist and a chemist. chemist yeah. That's how I need to read more of Grace's <laughs> Corner. I mean, you have these science backgrounds, this technology background, and then you're stuck in the pandemic with three kids. Yes. And you said, we've got to create something. Yes. And four years later, this has been four years wow. of this phenomenon. Arlene, what was the expectation when you all started working on this in the pandemic? So when the idea first came about, I think our mindset was, you know what, we just want to make sure there's more representation. We were watching um, a lot of content during the pandemic because um, yeah. our kids, we had to keep them occupied while we worked from home. Yeah. And so our big thing was just to meet that goal of putting something out there that allowed every child to see themselves. Wow. And you have three children yes. mm -hmm. total. The ages are? Four, six, and 11. Four, six, and 11. That's how you know you have young kids. <laughs> You're like, how old are these children? Four, six, yeah. and 11. Celine is six and Elliot is four. Javaris, your chemist background, how does that help the content? Yeah, it's kind of crazy because, of course, I grew up as a church musician doing marching band, concert band. So I love how you it. say, of course I grew up as a church <laughs> <Yeah>. musician. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's where the, the musical... Because you write and produce the songs. Yeah, so that's where that part yeah. comes from. But as far as... But, but as far as like knowing how to put together a script, how yeah. to go about the whole pre post and the whole production process, yeah. I had to do research. Oh, so that's yeah. where my science background went into play and I had to dive deep. You had in. to dive in because you didn't yeah. just want to do a show that didn't have valuable educational exactly. content, mm -hmm. which is so interesting because I know we were just talking about there's been this big debate on how to teach children reading. Mm -hmm. And my son can sight read, he can see any word. But phonics, when he started looking at Gracie's Corner and this song, and he was like, m -m 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 monkey. Oh. I was like, yeah. <laughs> because you have, you know, you've jumped into the education of it all. Mm -hmm. What I also love, Arlene, is that, like, when my kid, he, ha he goes to school, he is, I think, one of uh, three African American kids in, in his class. So he's a big group of kids who are not of black background or of color. They come to our house. We put on the Big Frida. You've never seen it. It looks like a little Benetton ad. There's a white kid, there's an Asian kid, and they're like, Big, no, 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 no. <laughs> because music is, I looked at us and I have a rainbow coalition in my house dancing the Big Frida because music is universal. Exactly. Yes, yes. Exactly. And that's what you do. Actually, we have a clip of a, because it's not just the kids, too, because I said I had a big group of kids in my house, and of course, I'm in the background getting it, too. Look at some of the parents enjoying. Let's play. <laughs> <laughs> like, when uh, it's like, look, I love this mom. Look at her getting it. <laughs> I love that because <laughs> you know, we they tell you with children that it's not the amount of time, it's the quality of the time. Yes. 
And so to see that mom taking front stage and dancing with her child, how does that make you feel? Oh, it feels so awesome to know not only are they learning, but it's allowing families to have yeah. fun together. Yeah. And wow, that's that's what we wanted. That's what it's about. Yeah. So Grayson, how old are you now? I'm 11. You are 11 years old, so I think you're one year behind the legal age to babysit because I would like to <laughs> offer you an opportunity <laughs> right now because you may have taught my son Moses more than anything I've taught him. So you have this beautiful singing voice. What do you want to do next? I mean, you're only 11. You got the whole world in front of you and you are an international superstar. What do you want to do next? I'm probably thinking about like maybe doing like the voice acting like the like the thing that you do like in the box for like the voice acting for like movies and like stuff. Like vo voiceover work. Yeah. Oh. I love that. Well, you have big fans. Snoop Dogg collaborating, Big Frida, you are the dream of the future because you've given us something as a parent that we can enjoy with our kids and that's a blessing.